Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn uh, what are the annotated uh, presence constraints uh, in SSIS uh, package. So we have the demo. Let's uh, jump to the demo straightforward uh, and take a look. Comments are very important uh, when we write uh, some uh, C sharp code, VB code, or any language code uh, that helps uh, us uh, or help other developers. Uh, to read the code and understand it better and the debug if ha they have to do it. Now let's create an SSIS package and see if we can write the comments as well in SSIS package because uh, that's also important right when you have a different uh, task used in SSIS package and uh, if you can write some comments on top of that that's great the people can take a look and uh, they can understand uh, what exactly these tasks are doing one way to write it uh, we can change the name of the task and uh, that can uh, make more sense in this case let's say if I will say DFT underscore load customer so this will tell us okay this uh, data flow task is a loading customer data now we can if we want to write more information let's say this is loading data from a sql table uh, to the um, text file or loading data from a file to the table this uh, you don't want to write all the details right here in as a name so maybe you want to go ahead and write the add annotation part here and then say this uh, uh, data flow task loads customer data from text file to SQL table so that's how you can write the annotation now let's consider uh, having a variable now let me create this variable called the FLG and the value of this variable is a uh, one there are multiple scenarios maybe we are returning some row count from this data flow and uh, depending on that row count uh, uh, let me call this one row count actually so if uh, there are some uh, uh, records we have read uh, in this data flow task uh, and we have used the row count transformation and save those uh, uh, count uh, into the row count variable and if the value is more than 100 uh, then uh, what we want to do we want to run this uh, second data flow task if uh, it is less than 100 we don't want to run the second data flow task so let me connect this one if you see this green line this is called presence constraint right and it is uh, on success it means if this first one is successful the second one will run there is no expression or anything on this one as of now if I will go ahead and double click on this one I can this is called constraint and the value is success I can write the expressions as well and have the constraints as well so there are three different uh, type of constraints that we have this can be success failure if I see failure okay this fails then run this one now uh, there is another one called completion so if I will go ahead and uh, if this uh, first task get completed it doesn't matter success or failure the second uh, data flow task will run so these are the constraints that's how we are controlling the flow of our um, tasks and the execution of those tasks now with the, these uh, constraints uh, we can also write the expressions and use mix of them so here if I want to use only the expressions I can go ahead and write my expressions and here at the rate row count is greater than 100 and I will test it okay evaluated fine if uh, the row count value is greater than 100 then the next task will run but if you can see that here it's a fx that means expressions are written but we don't see what exactly the expressions are sometime uh, when uh, other developer is opening this package he has to double click and see oh there are expressions and uh, let's say if somebody has written expression and constraint so in that case uh, you will not really see okay uh, what exactly the expressions were written and uh, let's uh, consider expression or constraint so in this case uh, you can't really tell uh, like what exactly is happening so you see the green line and expressions but that's uh, kind of confusing that doesn't really make sense it is and condition or condition you because you can't see without opening it and if you have a lot of tasks and a lot of uh, um, constraints uh, and expressions uh, 
you have to open each of them to understand the functionality of this package how the flow is controlled one more one thing we can do here if we go to the properties uh, there is some more information we can use uh, that annotation uh, or um, those uh, annotation on the president's constraints are available and we can uh, make use of them now show annotation for this is uh, as uh, needed and also let me go ahead next one is the constraint name so this one is a constraint because constraint name is coming from here it's constraint so it doesn't really say anything so if I want to change it to some reasonable name I can go ahead and do it so I can say row count constraint or uh, I can give success constraint with the row count now you see that it is change so at least it is some help and the second part you can go ahead and here you say constraint description and in the description we haven't written anything I can go ahead and write a whole sentence here or whatever uh, I don't know the, about the limitation how long the description can be written here but I can write I am using a row count greater than 100 to run second data flow task now it did not appear right away so that's fine let's go back here change to the as needed now let's save the package I hope it should change let me go back one more time properties and then we go and go and show description now once we uh, close this one I came back refresh it and I was able to take care of that now you can see that uh, I am using row count greater than 100 to run second data flow task so that's how I can write the description and display here that's really helpful uh, if uh, some uh, somebody or even I'm coming back to this package after 10 days or 20 days and taking a look again so let me go back to the properties one more time actually maybe two more time and now we will send constraints options so if I click here you will see that it is a telling a success or the row at the rate row count greater than 100 so this is what it is using now if I change this one to the end so we will see this right now it's still showing the same thing I was hoping it will change let me go back say as needed now we go back here properties again and now we will say constraint options so it did change and I'm sure if you will save it re uh, close the entire solution or package or refresh it will come back with the correct ones if not I mean you can uh, leave the window properties windows uh, set to the never or as needed uh, one more time and come back and re refresh it and if you don't need the constraints and you are feeling like oh, okay this is too much information I don't need that you can set to never or as needed but uh, in my case I will say I will go ahead at least with the constraint options and I want to see that okay it is success and the uh, expression uh, because this is kind of confusing green and f of f of x that tells you it is expression and success but that doesn't really tell with or or whatever so if you see this one here you don't see much difference there is no actually doesn't look any difference I, I would say if success or uh, row count uh, is greater than uh, uh, 100 if uh, when it is or maybe they could have put the dotted line here in the green uh, and when say and they could have just made it solid you know that tells us okay uh, this is a uh, using uh, success or the expression uh, if dotted line if uh, this is a solid line that means uh, success and the row count uh, so or uh, success and the expressions it is using uh, but anyways uh, so this is one way to change the property of your presence constraint and that really helps right and uh, you can take a look right away and tell like what expression you have used what constraint you have used and what combination of them you have used and uh, if you want to write more description you can you have seen that you can go to the um, presence constraint properties and write the description here and then use that as a constraint description.
so that will work as well thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in next video